morning everyone uh, first of all i would like to thank uh, um, IEEE sensor committee uh, for giving an opportunity to uh, re pre record uh, this video uh, my name is srikant birdula uh, phd student advanced uh, production engineering department from university of groningen today i going to present some of my work uh, uh, related uh, inkjet printed piezo resistive uh, bidirectional flow sensor uh before i begin i would like to uh, uh talk about a little bit about uh, our research uh in the engineering uh, technology institute of groningen in the group of uh, ajay kotapali so we are mainly working on uh, micro and nano electromechanical systems which involves three uh, uh major uh, sensor uh, mechanisms uh one of them is a piezo resistive uh, and uh, piezoelectric and uh, uh, capacitive uh, flexible sensors we also work on uh, 3d printed uh, sensors and healthcare uh, sensing technologies as well as uh, uh, bio inspired uh, sensors as well if you are uh, working related to this uh, topics uh, if you want to collaborate please uh, feel free to contact us uh, among these three uh, uh, resistive or electric and capacitive sensors, the main, uh, apart from design, the main uh, key element is to, uh, to choose the um, right material for the right application. So it depends on your material choice, the sensor output uh, will be influenced uh, uh, majorly on your uh, device. So in the literature, there are several uh, uh, materials they use for uh, especially piezo resistive sensors. Here are a few of them designed by our group. Uh, uh, one of uh, is a carbon nanofiber flame on PDMS flexible sensors and uh, graphene oxide and reducer graphene oxide for uh, sponge related uh, uh, applications and silver uh, nanowires pdms composites also used uh, for uh, piezo resistive uh, there are also a few other applications like uh, uh, carbon black uh, pdms flexible sensors for uh, skin integrated uh, applications uh, and also uh, graphene nanoparticles pdms uh, flexible sensors there are also 3d printed uh, graphene on the pdms sensor uh, you can see as a reference seven here uh these are the few examples in the literature so uh depends on this all the materials uh we uh we are planning to, we, are, we are working now on uh, inkjet printed uh, in order to make the sensors so first of all i want to uh, talk why we need a uh, uh, inkjet printed uh, sensor among the, all these materials because um, the inkjet uh, printed uh, uh, technology will uh, enhance the flexible and wearable uh, sensing applications uh, if you uh, can print uh, any uh, structures uh, you can simply integrate into several uh, substrates suppose uh, flexible or uh, tattooable uh, sensor applications so we can also use uh, artificial electronic skin and uh, other uh, applications as a uh, with a similar mechanism of uh, different application so inkjet printed also uh, can be useful if you have a, a complex designs uh, which you cannot easily fabricate in a, a clean room environment so uh, you can uh, you can model the design and uh, and afterwards uh, you can inkjet print uh, uh, based on your uh, uh, application so inkjet this inkjet printer we uh, doing a solution process um, inkjet technology so which which also help you to print uh, several uh, devices in uh, one go and uh, you you can also uh, print for large scale uh, production so in the group um, we formulated the new titanium carbide nanomaterial inks uh, so which size is uh, around uh, 100 nanometer and less than nanometer uh, less than 100 nanometers and uh, here you can see the ink uh, which we form in our group uh, and uh, we optimize the ink uh, to perform inkjet printing uh, with our instrument uh, viscosity range uh, from 8 to 15 cp and the surface tensions also uh, measured uh, to this ink and then ink fluid nature is uh, very suitable for inkjet printing 
uh, as you can see in the picture uh, you can um, the ink uh, is uh, highly uh, printable on uh, different substrates as well as uh, it's not clocking uh, with the uh, with the fluid nature of the ink so it's pretty stable and also uh, it's uh, uh, we choose the titanium carbide because this is uh, ceramic at the same time it's chemically inactive so it is has a more stability uh, compared with the other materials well, uh, there are a few examples we printed on uh, different substrates. Uh, one of them is a uh, polished iron uh, heat stabilizer, uh, flexible substrate. Here you can see in the uh, left left side image the series of uh, uh, printed uh, strain gauge uh, by using our uh, inkjet printing. So uh, by this, you can also print uh, several uh, devices at one time, and then later you can. Um, uh integrate into the fully uh inkjet printed uh, uh sensors and the top uh, left you can see the uh, after fabrication the you can see a uh, number of uh, sensors are already made uh, by using just inkjet printing uh we also printed on the pdms uh here top left you can see the uh, straight lines printed on the pdms substrates uh, which can be used for uh, stretchable and also flexible uh, applications. Uh, we also printed more complex structures. If you design uh, complex structures like this uh, S curve shape, uh, uh, the printer also suitable uh, for, to print uh, uh, this ink in a more even more complex uh, designs. So. Well, after printing this, uh, we are uh, a fabrication of flow sensor. Uh, so the printing, uh, we made a series of uh, strain gauge cantilever sensor. Uh, let me explain the uh, sensor fabrication. So in this uh, figure A, um, so we uh, we designed before uh, printing the uh, sensor, we designed the, our uh, strain gauge uh, based on our uh, um, a size uh, measurements and also the contact pads along with them so this is the cad file when you load to the computer computer will uh, 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 help to um, printer by robotic uh, uh, mechanism so we have a sonoplot uh, inkjet printer in our uh, uh, group and then um, we printed a uh, several uh, um TAC nano based uh, uh, titanium carbide uh, uh, nanomaterial based uh, inks here you can see in uh, figure d the series of uh, uh, strain gauge sensors uh, later we fabricated into uh, flow sensors and uh, we also characterize the ink um, after printing on the flexible substrate uh, in top uh, you will see uh, sorry in top you see the SES, uh, SEM Im image of the inkjet printed uh, uh, strain gauge. Uh, you can see it's uh, the the ink is wi widely uh, uh, uniformly distributed on the uh, image and also EDX images you see in the bottom and uh, the dispersion of the particles are also widely uh, dispersed in the uh, in the EDX. So uh, after uh, characterizing the ink, uh, we printed more devices um, uh, for uh, checking uh, flow sensors. Uh, this is the mechanism on the left side. You see the mechanism uh, once you design uh, loaded with to computer and then inkjet print head um, has a certain from the nozzle you have a droplet uh, uh, continuous lines can be printed on the several substrates on the right side we have a fabricated fully inkjet printed uh, uh, flex flexible uh, sensors uh, for a uh, various application uh, then uh, we started uh, measuring uh, sensing application uh, airflow uh in the figure a and b uh, the demonstrated the uh, our uh, working uh, principle uh, for the air uh, wind tunnel so in figure a the this is the um, diagram which shows which demonstrate the sensor in the middle and the uh, wind uh, inlet and outlet in the figure b you can uh, see the real um, uh, experimental setup whereas the sensor is isolated uh, from both uh, uh, from the outside atmosphere uh, 
the from back black port you will see the wind uh, input and then from uh, sensor uh, behind you will see the uh, uh, the wind outlet so we measured um, resistance change uh, between uh, so different velocities from uh, 10 to 20 and 30 uh, with the interval of 30 seconds on and off. Uh, here you can see the uh, uh, sensor resistance output uh, of uh, the sensor and uh, with increasing the velocity, the resistance change also uh, increased uh, uh, with, the, with, the, with the velocity of the wind. And as well as in figure 4D, uh, you can able to see the forward and uh, reverse um, uh, wind flow of the sensors. Uh, you can see on of the intervals uh, for uh, forward and reverse and, uh, and the uh, sensor resistance output uh, shown in the figure 4D. Later on, we this shows uh, sensitivity towards the wind um, sensing and the wind tunnel. And later we check the water uh, flow sensing mechanism with the sensors and uh, in the figure uh, A and B uh, demonstrated uh, our uh, uh, setup uh, in uh, in figure B you will see the real uh, experimental setup and then the sensor is fully integrated inside the water and then later on we we measure um, flow sensitivity in the water um, 40 seconds interval uh, on and off uh, various uh, steady state uh, flow uh, velocities uh, from uh, 0.3 and 0.5 and 0 0.7 uh, uh, different uh, velocities and also we um, characterize the resistance uh, normalized resistance output uh, towards the water flow uh, starting from 0 to uh, 0 0.7 uh, it's it's also so sensitivity uh, linear uh, re response uh, to the velocity range uh, uh, between 0 to 0 0.7 and uh, from this i would like to summarize the uh, our work we presented a phasal method uh, flexible piezo resistor strain uh, sensors which uh, which are fully inkjet printed and also our primary results shows wind and water uh, so uh, flow sensitivity uh, with the sensors uh, can have a better influence in the future and uh, our method is alternative way to from the traditional uh, clean room based uh, uh, techniques and also uh, it's uh, more robust and reproducible reproducible and it has a higher sensitivity and it is also inexpensive uh, way of making a sensor uh, and uh, i would like to thank the university of groningen uh, for us funding us and uh, and also uh, i would like to thank uh, all the authors for their uh, uh, assistance in the in the corresponding authors as well uh, if you have any question please uh, send us an email uh, below this and uh, i would like to thank uh, each and everyone for uh, uh, listening this uh, audio presentation thank you thank you very much